Hello everyone, my name is Tiffany, and on behalf of the Colorado Department of Revenue, it is my pleasure to walk you through this video introduction on filing the International Fuel Tax Agreement, or IFTA, quarterly returns for Colorado using Revenue Online. You can pause or rewind this video at any time to review the information provided. The Colorado Department of Revenue aims to make complex tax information easier to understand to enable accurate and on-time tax filings. To that end, we encourage e-filing and the use of Revenue Online, our free one-stop site to file taxes and manage accounts. Please note that all values used in this video are for illustration purposes only. Before we get started, make sure you have everything that you will need to file your return successfully. A Revenue Online login with access to your IFTA account. If you do not have Revenue Online access, pause this video and watch the video titled, How to Set Up Revenue Online Access Business Tax Account. The total gallons of fuel purchased and placed in the propulsion tank of all qualified vehicles in your IFTA fleet rounded to the nearest gallon. The gallons of fuel separated by each jurisdiction where the fuel was purchased rounded to the nearest gallon, and the total miles driven in each jurisdiction by all qualified vehicles in your IFTA fleet rounded to the nearest mile. From the Revenue Online home screen after logging in, locate the IFTA account. In the upper right corner of the account box, the most recent period will be shown. To file for the period shown, Click File Return. If you are filing for any other filing period, locate the Account Header box, then click File, Amend, and View Returns and Payments. From the period list on the next page, locate the period that you are filing for, then click File Now. This will bring us into the IFTA report. If your fuel type is not already listed under the MPG calculation, click Add a Record in order to enter the fuel type and total gallons. If your fuel type is listed, click on the fuel type to enter your total gallons. Once all of your fuel types and total gallons are entered, click Next. This brings us to the jurisdiction detail. On this screen, there are several things that we would like to point out. The first is what it will look like if a jurisdiction has a tax rate change in the middle of a quarter. In this situation, there will be two base rates listed in the jurisdiction detail, one for each of the tax rates. Please be sure to report the mileage and tax paid gallons in the correct base rate depending on when the miles were driven and the fuel was purchased. Also note that Virginia and Kentucky have additional surcharges and two rows are required in the jurisdiction detail for these states. The base rate row in which you will enter the miles in gallons as you would for any other jurisdiction and the surcharge row where you will not manually enter any information as the revenue online system will calculate it for you. If you have jurisdictions to report that are not already listed in the jurisdiction detail, you can add jurisdictions by clicking in a blank box in the jurisdiction column and selecting the jurisdiction that you need to add. Jurisdictions are listed here using two letter abbreviations, such as KS for Kansas. To complete your return, enter the total miles driven and the total tax paid gallons based on where the fuel was purchased for each jurisdiction. The shaded fields will populate as you enter your information. Once all information is complete for all jurisdictions, click Next. This will bring us to the IFTA tax report. Please be sure to check for several things here. The first is the miles per gallon. The system is calculating the miles per gallon based on the total miles and total gallons entered. You know your vehicles best. Does this look correct? The next thing is in the MPG calculation. Ensure that the total gallons matches the tax paid gallons at the bottom of the screen. If you have a situation where you have non-taxable miles 
or if you have miles driven in non-IFTA jurisdictions, such as Alaska, the District of Columbia, Mexico, or the Yukon Territory, this information must be sent via web message. There are currently only two situations that an IFTA licensee can claim non-taxable miles, travel on the Massachusetts Turnpike and travel on a fuel trip permit. If either of these situations apply to your filing, do not exclude any miles or gallons from your return. Send a web message through your Revenue Online account with supporting documentation of the non-taxable miles and the fuel tax unit will adjust your return based on the information received. If all information is correct, check I agree, then click Submit. You will need to enter your Revenue Online password in order to complete your return submission. This will bring you to the confirmation screen. Please keep a copy of this confirmation for your records as this contains your confirmation number and is your proof of filing. Clicking Printable View will open a printable PDF of the return information that was just filed. From the confirmation screen, you can also click Make a Payment to be directed to the Payment Type options. There are a variety of resources available to you through the Colorado Department of Revenue. Please keep these resources in mind if you find you need additional support. My name is Tiffany, and on behalf of the Colorado Department of Revenue, Taxation Division, Education and Training, thank you for watching this video and thank you for being tax compliant.